general evaluator. <laughs> Michael, the purpose of this was to tell a folk tale that is entertaining and enjoyable for a specific age. And I would say that she did this extraordinarily well. Just very, very well. There are lots of things to talk about that were very good points, and I don't have time to do that. It's a talk tool that you can watch over a few times on the video. It would be great. One thing is uh, how you attract your interest. Well, you have a very impressive demeanor in front of you. You are a powerful storyteller, and when you stand up here, you are just a powerful figure in front of the group. You had a very interesting uh, storyline that led up to the fight and other things that happened, but there was this, there was the drama that happened within your story that was really good and powerful that kept us uh, interested in it. What techniques uh, did the speaker use that were especially effective? Well, I'd say the bull was really good. You really did a good job on the bull. Every, in fact, it wasn't just being likable, it was being the bull. That, that added so much to your talk. I mean, it was just powerful in what you did. And uh, it, like you had at least three times I can remember. One was the snort, and then there was the roaring bull, and a raging bull, or whatever it was, and then another snort, and <laughs> we were just fantastic. The uh, excellent use of words. You can tell that you got good. You have good word chops, and you did a uh, super job on that. In things like, uh, I, I, this isn't exactly how you said it, but uh, got, it was like got the ears of uh, King Shoko, Shoko, how do you pronounce it? Oliver, I lose track of it. In fact, that is a problem with this for my ears, is that although I've taken and been in Japan, remembering those names is, is, is a tough thing to do. But anyway, using term like that, got the ears of, of the king. The, story were exciting when the bull, well, the bull roared and the, the bull scene of the fight, uh, parts of the battle, uh, in the descriptions, I could visualize the dressing up. It, 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 it made, you know, there was visual scenes that she built in our, in our head about the whole thing. The uh, clothes off, the on and off, the, uh, the bull, as I said, the fan, the gold leaf that pulled out. And uh, then it asked, what is the idea or mood the speaker was trying to convey? You know, I thought there was, a, you started out with a formality of the narrator, and I think that was required for the time and all of that in Japan and Okinawa, old people in Japan. So that was great. Was the speaker successful? Very, very much so. In fact, I would say that of all the times I've heard number of speech number one in the storytelling manual, this is the best I've ever heard.